I wanted the audience to feel like, oh snap, we stepped it up to the next level of like, ah, oh, we got a little dirty here, didn't we? <laughs> Hello, I'm Mark Skizak. I'm the stunt coordinator and second unit director on Marvel Studios Echo. Today we're looking at the fight scene between Maya and Daredevil. The storyline behind it, which is Kingpin um, throwing her to the wolves at this moment and saying kind of sink or swim, kid, you know, it's now's the time, was the base of what we were going for. Making that into what we ended up with took collaboration from everybody. When we start doing the stunt biz, we are able to do that just in our rehearsal space. You know, we build boxes and pads and whatever else. It's like we're kids making a fort. We sort of built the actual set to what we built in our rehearsal space. So this was a little bit reverse engineered where we kind of created this whole flow and this fight and then we sort of built the actual set to look enough like that. For Maya's fighting style, we looked at her introduction back from um, Hawkeye. She's trained by a villain. There's nobody really holding her back. I wanted that switch that flipped. It's like, oh, you know, like, yeah, one punch to the face would work, but why not give him two? In this MMA grounded mixed martial arts where she can kind of come at you with anything and you don't know. Alakwa obviously is incredible. As my fight coordinators are building this, they know her fighting style. They know what her strengths are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that into the fight. We're gonna build that in so that we know that we, she can pull it off. She can do it great. We wanted to make sure that every punch that she threw, that she actually got her body behind it and she, you know, it looked real like she was going for it. I would say, hey, Alakwa, can we go harder? She's like, yeah, go harder. And everybody's like, well, you know, and I was like, no, no, she's good. Same thing with Charlie. I mean, he comes in and he wants to do everything. He's a legend, so he's able to come in and learn the fight in a day. You know, like, Daredevil's a badass. I've been watching them all night. And then you guys show up. Sydney had the idea of making this a one -er. A one is a continuous shot. This is incredibly challenging. Like the guy comes crashing through the door or any of those things. He's got to do that 20 times to get it right because there's so many elements that happen after that that's still in that same shot. We make it a one -er by using blends and transitions and fancy camera work in order to make it look like one seamless shot. If you go back just a little bit, when our actress Alakwa comes in, that is now the stunt double. So she walks through and we did a wipe on her back. There's another wipe right here. So that was Alakwa um, rolling on the ground, but it was Caitlin in the beginning. We were questioning whether she would want to do that. It was kind of a hard hit, you know? She slams up against a desk, and if it doesn't go perfect, then her head hits, or her hip hits, or whatever else, and she wanted to do it. So the balance between, I don't want you to get hurt, and this one has the potential to do that, so gotta hold her back sometimes. Now this was another cut, so that was hidden in a whip pan. I love this kick right here. <laughs> And then we went back up to her, so that was hidden in a whip. Nice job, kid. So there was a wire gag there. We actually took the actress for a little ride. She was very tough. When it comes to a chair being kicked across the room into someone's face. Um, okay, how are we gonna accomplish that? We can kick a real chair once at a stunt guy's face and then he's gonna go to the hospital, you know? Like, we don't wanna do that. Now we're doing a one -er here also. So that means the chair has to go perfectly, you know, like to where it goes, and then we have to continue the scene or it doesn't work. So now how many times are we gonna be kicking a chair in order to get the chair to work? So when we go to visual effects with a, a problem like that, they'll let us know what their solves are and whether they sometimes want us to kick something, just so something's going through the air. This one, we didn't kick anything. 
I loved Daredevil coming up over the top. Doesn't even skip a beat. He's like, all right, I'm up and over this thing. And there's not a ton of places to rig wires. Obviously, Justin is an amazing stunt double, but he can't really jump up that high. So we got to get him a little of assistance. And then also she's shooting at him and he comes down, you know, like with an attack. That was challenging. That was a lot of pieces that need to come together. There's an energy that when it works, everybody knows. Echo was such an exciting project to work on from beginning to end. The director, Sydney, was just so much fun to work with. Our DPs, our camera operators, our rigging team was incredible. Then you give me a villain-led, you know, like show where I get to be a little bit dirtier in the MCU. I'm in. It's great. Everybody go check it out. Marvel Studios Echo is now streaming.